Hi, my name is Philip Goff. I'm an engineer here on the TreeScale team in Red Hat. And today I'm going to do a quick demo on how we've added some API management features to Istio via TreeScale and how we can use Kiati to quickly link services running within the Istio mesh with TreeScale APIs. So first I've created a free TreeScale account on TreeScale.net and I'm jumping into the admin portal where I've created and configured an API. I've selected the service mesh integration option and I'm using an API key as the authentication method. Next, I've created a single mapping rule that maps to a product page path. Each request to this path will increment the hits metric by a single value. I've associated an application plan with the API, which allows us to configure features such as rate limiting and billing. For this example, I'm enforcing a rate limit of two requests per minute on this particular metric. Okay, so next I'm jumping over to the OpenShift console where I have Istio installed in the Istio system namespace. We can see the TreeScale Istio adapter is running here. And basically this component allows us to hit a service running inside the mesh and have Istio call out to TreeScale to determine whether or not that request should be authorized based on the configuration in TreeScale. To enable this integration, a number of custom resources must exist behind the scenes. And the Kali team will provide a really nice visualization tool for your service mesh. have been busy working on a way to simplify the integration and create the resources via their UI. So finally then, I'm jumping over to the Kiali dashboard where we show how to integrate these two offerings. If we go to the Istio config tab, we can see that the book info application has been installed and we'll use this as an our example application. If we take a look at the virtual service, we see a match for the product page endpoint. If you remember, this is the same as the mapping rule we created previously in TreeScale. Just to ensure everything works prior to the integration, I'm jumping down to the terminal and hitting the service via the ingress gateway. We can see we get some HTML back, so that all looks good. So now we click on the service tab in Kiali and look for the service we want to apply API management to, which is product page in this case. Go to the dropdown and select add TreeScale API management rule. We are presented with a pop-up which asks us for a name which must be unique and three pieces of information required by TreeScale. Those are the ID of the API that we configured earlier, the URL of the admin portal that we visited earlier, and an access token which should be kept secret. After creating that object in Kiali, I'm jumping back down to the terminal to show and verify that the three required resources exist. Next, I curl the endpoint as we did before, but this time the request is rejected since we have not provided any authentication required by TreeScale. Adding the correct API key as a query parameter to the request successfully authenticates us, and we see the HTML response once again. So finally, to ensure the rate limit configured in TreeScale is respected, we hit the endpoint with two additional requests. The first is allowed as expected, while the second request is denied since it's breached the limit. Jumping back to TreeScale, we can see the traffic generated in the Analytics tab. So that's it. Hopefully this has proved useful in demonstrating how easy it is via Kiali to integrate these two platforms. Thank you.